All right, welcome back everybody to another Real Talk video. I pray y'all are having a wonderful blessed day as we give the Most High Yah all the honor, the glory, and definitely all the praise and worship. My title says, Don't Call Any Man Common or Unclean. I want to go to a familiar passage that's um, oftentimes not taught right. And if you don't understand this passage, you will truly miss the true meaning of this passage. And I'm talking about in Acts chapter 10, you know, especially verse 14. Because a lot of people think this is talking about food. Now, from studying in the Old Testament, the Old Covenant, the Old Agreement, we know what to eat and what not to eat, you know. We know what harms our body, and we know what's good for our body. But when you go to um, Acts chapter 10, this has nothing to do with food, you know. And verse 14 says, But Peter said, Not so, Lord. For I have never eaten anything that is common or unclean. Now, this is a vision Peter had. And as a matter of fact, just to be real, Peter saw this vision three times. And, and he still was having trouble understanding what this vision truly meant. Now, he said in his vision, he saw heaven open and an object like a great sheet bound at the four corners. And we know in the Bible when it say four corners, that means north, south, east, and west. He said it was descending to him and led down to the earth. And what he saw was, was all kinds of four-footed animals of the earth. Wild beasts, creeping things, and birds of the air. From, we know from reading the scripture. And then he heard a voice say, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. Now this, now, when you back back up to the scriptures before, like verses 11 through 13, if you take this the wrong way, you're going to think he's talking about he shouldn't eat unclean animals. That's why Peter said, teach Holy Spirit. Peter said, I have never eaten anything common or unclean. Now that's the reason why the Most High told Peter, don't call what I made unclean. He never was talking about food in this passage. Let's catch that. In verse 16, the Bible shows us Peter had this vision once again three times and was still trying to figure out what this vision meant. See, if you quit once again, you quit reading right there, you're going to think, oh, okay, man, you know, we're talking about food here. That's not what the Bible is talking about. Now, why did the Most High tell Peter this? You know, because it was a greater picture, and it took it. If you go, if you go down to verse twenty-eight, it took Peter a minute to understand this. Now, the verse twenty-eight shows us that Peter understood the vision, and Peter, once Peter saw the vision in the right way, he said, "I should not call any man common or unclean." Now remember the Bible, what, it, what was Peter, a fisherman? You remember the, our Savior asked Peter, how, many, how much do you love me, Peter? I believe he had to ask Peter three times. Do you love me more than to fish? So he, he still wanted Peter to be that fisherman, but he wanted Peter to fish for the men, your brothers and sisters in Christ. See, it was a different kind of fishing, you know. When you go fishing, you need the right bait. Well, what's our bait? The Holy Spirit, you know. So Peter finally realized in this vision, it, was, it wasn't even talking about food. It was talking about Gentiles. Hmm. Why? Because Gentiles was always considered unclean. See, we have to really understand what we read and when we read it. The Bible always showed us how Gentiles was, was, was unclean, which means just nations. If you wasn't a Jew and then you was in a Gentile category, you was considered dirty, you know. Samaritans and Jews didn't get along. So this is why I tell people to quit all this debating about laws, you know. The Most High offered salvation to any race. 
we know the salvation came through the Jews first. But this is why you have to get past this this fussing and fighting about the laws, this, the law, that. You know, 613 some laws, maybe even more than that. And then some of these laws were man-made laws, you know. But when you get past debating the law, you, you see the greater picture. Am I down talking the law? No, no, not at all. We talked about this the other night on live chat, you know. Our Savior said, I did not come to destroy the laws of the prophets, but to fulfill them. He kept the law perfect. The law don't save you, though. But the law is good. The law showed us how bad we are and we really needed a savior. The law don't have, the law, the law don't, the law is good once again. I'm trying to make sure I say this right. Because when you start talking about the law, people get all, you know, swole up about, well, I'm keeping this, I'm keeping that. Well, love covers a multitude of sin. The two greatest commandments are about love. And if you don't have love, stop fighting and talking about the law. Because love is the key. Our Father is love, you know. But once again, I'm not down talking the law. The law is good. Live by the law the best way you can, you know. But the question is, at the end of the day, can you keep the law? Can you really keep it? Do you still have to repent from something? Because if you could keep the law that good, wasn't no need to be, a, wasn't no need for us to have a Savior, you know. So should we, to close this video out, should we eat? A certain way and don't punish our body. Yes. And it's just amazing when you look at Peter saying this. This shows us that Peter never ate the wrong way. I always said the most High had Israel on a diet plan. You know. You know what to eat. Go back to Leviticus. You know what and what not to eat. But even even all that time into the new covenant. Peter still said. I kept the. I pretty much kept the, um, the law. You know. Of eating right. You know. He followed that. And I don't see nowhere road in the New Testament where he just fell out and started eating bad, you know. But Peter just Peter was still saying, I, I kept it. I ate right. I ain't never ate nothing unclean, you know. So it's very important to point that out too, because Christians I'm gonna say this as I close, <laughs> Christians love to eat all the wrong things, get in bad health and strength, and then pray for the most high to to, to to touch their health and strength. Mm. But that's a whole nother video, y'all. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed weekend. I wanted to just break that, that, that part down right there about they wasn't talking about animals, food, eating, right? It was, it was talking about the unclean Gentiles. That's why the most high y'all told Peter, don't call what I make unclean. That's why the Bible say, be ye holy. God say, be ye holy for I am holy. Be set apart, be different, be sanctified, you know. That's going to come down to that heart. It's just like talking about circumcision, you know. People don't always talk about the circumcision of your heart. They're always talking about it the other way. So we have to understand what the Bible is saying when the Bible is saying it. So y'all remain blessed and have a, have a wonderful weekend. Shalom.